in your book, and that is there was a particular specialized underground railroad for light-skinned blacks from the South to get to Washington, D.C., and then to set them up so they could pass for white people. Yes. I thought that was the most interesting part of this research to me, and that was due to the genealogists and, and going through the libraries and finding this out. And then uh, I, I think, uh, if I can remember, the professor that did a large study, uh, uh, was it Stouffer's, um, on, on passing for white, I, I realized that there was a underground railroad for passing for white. It was very unique. And when they went through the procedure that they set up, it's like from Virginia to Washington, from Washington to, and from Maryland all the way to Washington, they had this house where they would go through the back door where the, where the uh, mulatta, because most of the mulatta people were, and they'd come out the front door and say, this is my cousin. The white who was would say, this is my cousin from Baltimore. Well, looking at that cousin, you don't know that in blood is a drop of blood, black blood is in that person. Blue eyes, some of them had brown eyes, but they had straight hair, blonde hair. And I have cousins today that I look at, I, honestly, I can't tell that they're not Caucasian, but they are. They